Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com In this video I'm going to look to see if it's possible to go from Windows Vista to Windows 11 So here I've got a uh, Vista virtual machine on Hyper-V and I'm going to do this the long way around as in I'm not going to go straight to 11 I'm going to take it all the way I'm going to go to like, so we're on Vista now I'm going to go to Windows 7 um, and then I'm going to go to Windows 8 and then I'm going to go to Windows 8.1 then I'm going to go to Windows 10 and I'm going to go all the way up to Windows 11 and actually there's a little bit of a, a hitch that we'll have on the way because this is a Gen 1 uh, Hyper-V uh, Windows uh, Windows image and we really need to be on Gen 2 for Windows 11 but you can't run Gen 2 on Windows Vista so I'm going to have to do some little bit of a, a routine to, to fix that and I'll do that along the way and I'll show you so I'm going to obviously speed up this video a lot because you don't want to watch me install uh, multiple versions of Windows real time so I'll whiz through these but anyway we're going to start off here so I've got a virtual machine running um, the um, initial version of Windows Vista and so my first job is to install Windows 7 but then there will be things like service packs needed and everything else so let's make a start so I've put the Windows 7 disk in, I've mounted that, and let's see if we can install Windows 7. Okay, so we can't install Windows 7 because we need to install Vista Service Pack 1. Okay, so now Service Pack 1's installed, I can have a go installing Windows 7. First, let's create a file on the desktop here just to show Plus I'm also going to take a snapshot of this. So over here in Hyper-V, I can take a snapshot of this checkpoint and call it, and we'll rename that as Windows Vista SP1. So that means now I can go back to this checkpoint if I want to in the future. So, okay, so we're all good on that. We've got our um, file on there. We can, um, Install Windows 7. Okay, here we are in Windows 7. Just booting up, and I can there. Let's add to this. Oh, and before I install Windows 8, let's just do a checkpoint of that. So let's insert the Windows 8 disk. There we go. Okay, so we have Windows 8 up and running. We've got a few personalised options to do. And this is the first time Windows had a Microsoft account, which you can go to the Microsoft Store and get apps for, which we still use now in Windows 11. But I'm going to uh, skip that for now and we're going to finish off this setup. Here we are, Windows 8, no start button. We have to hover down this bottom corner, I seem to remember. But then you've got the desktop and you can get back to Windows there. So here we are with Windows uh, 8. So the next thing is Windows 8.1. Okay, here we are in Windows 8.1, so you see we've got the start button back, uh, but we've still got the full screen applications, but we have got um, the search button, the power button up there. So the next thing is to go to Windows 10. So I'll take a quick snapshot. Well, let's also update our text file. So here we have Windows 10 running. And here we are running and here we are running well Windows 10. The default build of Windows 10. This is all 64 bit. So time to take a snapshot. Now the next step would be to install Windows 11. There you go, you can see all the, the error messages. So we can fix the um, 
the cores and the memory uh, in Hyper-V but actually uh, and there are some registry settings you can do to avoid the TPM and stuff but actually the easiest way is just create a version 2 a Gen 2 Hyper-V image and just convert this over to a GTP boot and it should work so what I'm going to do is uh, do exactly that so we'll close this down for now so to change this over I'm going to create a new virtual machine and attach this hard drive but before I do that I'm going to do it convert it to a disk layout to GT, a GPT okay and that's that done so I'll shut this down now so I'm taking the name the current name of the of the snapshot that we've got and now create a new virtual machine do it as gen 2 give it plenty of RAM Give it the disk that I took the link of before. It was existing disk. Okay, so I've set this up already for Windows 11, TPM, 4 gig of memory, two processors, the hard drive of the the, the checkpoint hard drive, and and the, and the Windows 11 media. Okay, now we're ready to install Windows 11. Okay, so here we are. Windows 11. And I should be able to open the file there from that we started way back in Windows Vista. I forgot to put the uh, Windows uh, 10 in there. But, uh, let's put Windows 11. So there you go. We've gone all the way through from Vista to Windows 11, and I uh, use those Hyper-V snapshots if I need to go back. But it's all done. The process is complete. I made it all the way through. And just to have a look. This is the compatibility report we generated back when we went tried to go to Windows 7 from Vista. So all done. So there you go. Windows Vista to Windows 11 via Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, all in-place upgrades. Thanks for watching this video, more fun on the next one.